yeah welcome back my friend so what we have just put on this chart right now is that you know we have put some kind of truncated support resistance zone where the price is coming back to bounce on the trend line architect and i told you you will not need to sit in front of the chart i'll be waiting for the price to come and bounce on trend line architect you know what i mean this is why we put the truncated support resistance line to make noise for us to make some noise for us so we can know that yes the price is bouncing on a zone where we're gonna you know we're gonna buy now let me explain properly look at the price i've made a high with the bollinger band and what happened boom bounce on a sell zone which means price is not ready to break this high this is gonna sell that is why it's here that is why it sold back down boom boom now it's bouncing on a green there is a support here there's a green here you know if not for the price line here you would have seen it properly there's a green right here price is sitting on top of it which means what which means a buying idea is happening right here and why because the price is bouncing on the trend line architect which is going up so a buying idea is happening here today saturday i would have let you listen to the noise that is being made by this truncated support resistance zone i would have let you to see it properly to listen to it properly. you see this is going to be a buy you see all the season is past it is the past week now a new season will start expectation this line will be broken this line will be broken we are gonna buy it is a buying zone and we are gonna hold it hold it properly until the price have gone up and gave us a truncated support resistance red line that is the day the price is gonna be coming down you see how this is gonna help you help you to maximize your profit it's always better you know to have a chart that is calling your attention to come and listen to something that that is your zone your zone that you want to operate from now we expect to buy and we buy but we want to get out from you know by the time it's broken this it's broken this high then that's where we want to get out but we know that it is also necessary for us to hold it to buy and hold it until we see the red line of this new new section that has not even started yet this new new black section blank section here that has not started you know what i mean yes it's not started yet it's a new section it's not yet started but we buy now to hold it until the price makes another red line like this this is why we have our take profit on this zone now some people might say oh my god oh my god my god i'm confused this and that but i want to tell you man <laughs> you got nothing to be confused about this chart alone the way it is now is perfect for you to do anything you want to do because this truncated support resistance line is telling you when Bollinger Band is going to turn around like here it says look sell you sold from here there was a red line here somewhere here that's a sell and you, you sold here it's a sell and you sold here it's a sell and you sold you see how it's following bollinger band until it got here and bounced on the green support it's a buy then you bought boom you bought you hold it you hold it until it's a sell here sell then it shook down as a sell boom bounce back there's a red here it's a sell 
you sold it. Boom. It bounced on the green. Support. It's making noise. It say buy. Then you're going to buy until the day it's going to say sell. Because it will be following this Bollinger Band. Through the bottom it makes and through the retracement price is making inside the Bollinger Band. It will be giving you your sound telling you to come and do something. To come and buy. Okay. Now. For those of you who feel like maybe okay, I'm going to be a little bit confused about this. Let me show you one tool that is never going to let you be confused. Even if you need a kind of, you know, a confirmation. Because some people do need confirmation. So, what is that tool that is going to give you that confirmation? For you to know what you are doing, we're going to go grab one tool. And this tool is called. You know, this tool is called Easy Trend. Easy Trend. You can find this Easy Trend on mql5.com. It's a very free tool. I found it. This is it. Easy Trend. You see, all we need to do right here is just to set everything to true, to give us a lot and give us sound and give us everything we need, only the sound. We need, you know what I'm saying? The color, everything, leave it the way it is. We're good with it. And we just do what? Accept it. Easy trend. Boom. <laughs> oh my damn God. Mm. Case closed. Case closed. Uh, you know, I'm short of words right now. I'm short of words right now because the easy train. I've done everything for you when you look at it. Did you see when Bollinger Band is trying to come down? Did you see the easy train arrow pointing down for you from the top? Before I started dropping dropping from the Bollinger Band and then the truncated support resistance line tell you to continue to sell. Did you see it? Here, Easy Trend is following truncated support resistance line tell you to sell. Did you see it? And the price got here. Boom. To sit on the truncated support resistance by green line on trend line active telling you it's a buy zone you know what it's a buy zone you quickly bought boom the price went up went up okay right here let's say easy trend told you to sell right okay maybe but as the price went up and easy trend told you to sell Maybe it's a chance to close your buy. Boom. Or you what? You wait for truncated support resistance to tell you what to do. Okay. Right here you saw truncated support resistance telling you to sell. Boom. But right here, easy trend quickly came and tell you sell. So because of the confirmation from the truncated support resistance telling you to sell, maybe you confuse you, you didn't take it, and you wait for easy train, and easy train says sell, then you sold, boom, and now you sold. Price is sitting on a buy zone green right here. You see this? That is a chart that is calling you to come and do something. Look at what is going on right here. Exactly the same thing. Bolin Japan is going down. Easy trend says sell. Sell. Exactly the same thing. Here. Sell. That's where price turns around. Sell. It jumped up here, create a high. Easy trend says sell. Maybe somewhere along this zone. The truncated support resistance line will tell you also it's a red zone sell. It sold back to the green. 
the grain took it to the up. It creates a high. Easy trend says sell. But I know truncated support resistance line was drawn somewhere here where it says sell and it says sell. Boom. It bounced on the green. This is a buy. Boom. You took it. You took it all the way up. Easy trend. Boom. What else do you need? What else do you need, man? You know what I'm saying? Huh, huh, to build a chart that really call your attention to come and do something. Yeah, to come and do something. It's one thing to want to do Forex. It's another thing to know the necessary tools to use in order to maximize your own profit and maneuver your way. And it's another thing to know what exactly does the price want to do. You know what I'm saying? What the price want to do? What is your knowledge about the price? What do you know? If you don't know it, do go and build your chart exactly the way I built mine. And you need to go to school. Go to the Forex University. The link is under this video. Follow that link. You will see a button that says Forex University. Click it. Go and learn. A mentor is there will teach you everything you need to know about Forex. Yes, you will be taught everything you need to know about Forex. But now, for the for the for the everything about this chart right now is good and perfect. Even if you add nothing more, it's okay. But there's one little last final thing I want to add. One last thing. That will show you the day average to range where the price will definitely turn around or where you will get your target if you are a day trader. If you are a day trader, you know, maybe you wake up in the day, you saw this one, you pick it up as a sell, you want to get out of the day, okay, or you saw this support resistance truncated line telling you sell. You sold, you want to get out for that day, and this one you want to get out, or all this one you want to use it to sell, and you want to get out for that day. Now, what is going to do that for you? We're going to go grab something called a buy-sell line. I'm sorry that I'm putting a lot of things, but I still tell you that. Not all of them you need, you just need what is enough for you buy sell line let me go find it <laughs> buy sell line where's it give me some few minutes man to find that stuff sometimes you know sometimes they just somewhere hiding will i see buy sell line oh my god oh my god oh my god if i don't see it then there's no problem if I don't see it, then we are not going to use it, does it? But if I see it, then indicator and custom. If I see it, that's okay. If I don't see it, then we don't use it. But it would have been the best to use. Oh my God, oh my God. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Buy, sell, line. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Oh my God. It would have been the best for us to use, but you know, I didn't see it. Okay. There's no problem. There's no need for us to to use it right now. Maybe we'll find it later. But it does a lot of work. It does a lot of work. Okay. Now we're gonna analyze this market. But let me let me put one thing. There's one thing I like to put. I like to put um the break of trend line. Okay, trend line break a lot. Okay, there's a reason why 
I want to put the trend line break alert. 